It's that time of the year where health experts give us silly tricks and hacks for avoiding holiday weight gain. The six tips to help you avoid Thanksgiving weight gain. Some of my top tips to help prevent dreaded holiday weight gain. Three tips to avoid that dreaded holiday weight gain. If you've tried these before, you probably know they don't work all that well. And the ones that do work make your holiday meals miserable. Let's take a look at why these expert tips and tricks are not only ineffective and nonsensical, but also why they're completely unnecessary. If this is your first holiday season trying to lose weight, you might not be familiar with the popular suggestions for avoiding holiday weight gain. I've been pulling my hair out watching these videos for you guys, and I've managed to compile the top five tips. Here's what we've got. Number one, pay attention to what and how much you eat. Yes, holidays are the time for Thanksgiving, spending time with your family, and logging everything in my fit. Fitness, pal, while everyone else enjoys themselves. Number two, be mindful of your portion sizes, especially those tempting holiday dishes. Use smaller plates to help you control your portions. If you like, you can also sit at the kitty table, so you won't be the only person at the table not using a grown-up plate or eating a grown-up meal. Number three, make sure you fill up your plate with meat and vegetables and eat those first. Well, that's just common sense. We all know that celebrations and holidays that come around once per year are the perfect time for severe diet restrictions. Number four, be sure to plan ahead. Before you attend a holiday gathering, consider eating a snack to curb your appetite and avoid overindulging. I love this one because it's actually counterintuitive. If you eat a snack that is 500 calories right now, then maybe you'll eat 500 calories less at the meal. And then you won't gain as much weight because you've spread the calories out, which makes sense if you don't think about it. Number five, stay active. Continue with your regular exercise routine or go for a walk because physical activity can help balance out those extra calories. Forget the fact that exercise increases your hunger. You need to get active immediately after you finish your meal. After all, burning calories is more important than building memories. Okay, so perhaps you don't think that these suggestions are as absurd as I find them. Perhaps you're even ready to try some of these out. After all, we all know what happens over the holidays. The average American gains five pounds between Thanksgiving and New Year's. True. That's insane, right? The holidays typically consist of maybe two to four meals, and the average person gains five pounds from those two to four meals? As a side note, if you could gain five pounds of body fat from just two meals, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd just be impressed. So let's get a healthy dose of truth. Where does the idea of five pounds actually come from? Big surprise, it comes from mass media exaggeration and mainstream health experts pitching you products. The real research indicates that the average amount of holiday weight gain is just one pound, not five. So is there really nothing to be worried about here? Not quite. There is still a real problem with holiday weight gain. Research shows that the average person gains only a pound over the holidays, but it also indicates that most people never lose that pound. So even though it's a little bit of weight, it can add up over the course of several years. Do you see the dilemma? Most experts want us to focus on making our two to four holiday meals better. But that's entirely pointless because it's not actually those meals that are the issue. It's every other meal outside of the holidays. The reason a lot of people struggle with their weight over the holidays is because they treat the entire season as an excuse for waiting to change or to quit or to pause or they treat the entire year like the holidays. But if you're not one of those people, then you can enjoy those holiday meals as much as you want. You don't need to use any silly hacks or tricks 
to make sure you don't gain a ton of weight because you won't gain any weight in the next month and a half as long as you aren't treating every day like a holiday. Call me contrary to the experts, but I truly believe that even when you're trying to improve your health, you are allowed to have the holidays off. I've been doing it every year for 10 years after having lost 43 pounds and I've yet to gain any weight. But what happens if you completely overdo it? You decide to impress me and you gain five pounds over the holiday season. Before you decide to leave me a nasty comment and tell me how I was wrong, you should click the screen to watch how to lose any holiday or vacation weight in less time it takes you to gain it.